Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43 and I'm here to give you the mid-month of July, your 2021 tarot reading for the zodiac sign of Virgo. If you are new to my channel, welcome and blessings. If you are a returning viewer, watcher, and or subscriber, you guys are amazing. I adore you guys. I'm sending you all so much love and light and joy always. Welcome, welcome back. If you are a cross watcher, please do come in. I'm sending you joy, love and light and blessings as well for you and for all of us here. So just to let you guys know, if you don't know, I do tarot, but I also am a life coach. I'm ordained by God to do it. And recently I posted life coaching session number 21 up. It's in regards to, to roles in relationships. So if you guys are interested in that, please get in where you fit in. That's a free upload. And I actually did an extended to that life coaching session. So if you guys are interested in seeing the shared roles, that's free. And then the individual roles for men and women. I did like an add-on video. So if you guys are interested in that, the link is in that video. All right. So get in where you guys fit in. And in this reading, I will be using the Oceanic Tarot deck. I love this deck. This is my baby. I don't use it as much as I used to because I have so many other decks, but I do love this deck and I'm guided to use it. But, um, it's an awesome deck. It's really fun. And, um, I get a lot of messages from it. It's very, very spiritual deck for me. I love this deck, but, um, I will be doing the, I'm going to do the start of C formation. I will not be reading in reverse. So if something is in reverse, I'm going to flip it and read it as such. Please remember in tarot and Oracle cards, this is a tarot card deck, but just remember with tarot, it's all about the messages, focus on the message, leave the rest, take only what resonates. Of course you could flip it, flop it, insert yourself wherever you see fit or best for yourself, but leave whatever does not apply. Okay. Let it go. Um, what's for you is for you and what's not leave it for whoever it is for. All right, let's begin your reading. Of course, everything has been prayed and meditated on always. I always cleanse the energy for each and every zodiac sign, each and every reading. And let's begin. Please spirit do come through as you always do for the zodiac sign of Virgo. For the mid-month of July 2021. For Virgo, for my lovely, wonderful, vivacious, caring Virgos. Okay, one more. One more, you guys. One more. All right. The first card represents you. The second card represents the change that you could see happening next. The third card represents what's going to trigger this change. The fourth card represents the action or guidance you could take uh, from spirit. Of course, as you choose, always do what you feel is best. You guys all have free will. The fifth card represents what's happening with neighbors, co-workers, family, anybody in your circle, relatives, near and far, friends, uh, co-workers, anything like that. It also could represent you, so take it how it resonates. The sixth card represents the outcome of the spread. And I always start with the bottom of the deck which represents the overall energy of the spread so let's see what we have virgos you guys have the lovers oh my god i think the past couple of readings i have done they've had this card or in this exact same spot so i believe who had this was this taurus no no it was not taurus it was sagittarius so please look up Sagittarius reading. They have this exact same card, I believe, in the exact same placement. Yeah, Sagittarius. <laughs> Who else, though? Somebody else had this energy. A lot of readings had this, and I don't always see this pop out. So this is, for me, when I see the lovers, this is twin flame energy. And I, I this is a very thick deck. It's almost 80 cards. So it's 78. So it's a lot of cards in this deck. And I shuffle and pre-shuffle and everything then i shuffle more on camera so you guys get a very well like shuffled and meditated on and cleansed deck but you guys are in sagittarius energy so please um watch that reading you guys may be connecting to the sagittarius that could be in your placements or your person's placements your twin flame could be a sagittarius or you could have a lot of sagittarius energy in your chart you may be dealing with one but or there could be a message in that reading for you okay but i've seen this in other readings too i can't remember the other ones but I, I, I'm like almost like 100% sure it was in Sagittarius. But anyways, um, and you may, you know, just for the heck of it, you might want to watch Taurus reading as well. But I, I think it, I'm almost for certain it came out in Sagittarius in the same place at that. But anyways, you guys have the lovers. So a lot of people are focused on choices. And this is what I feel like Spirit wants you to do. Focus on your future. Okay. 
the benefits that somebody can bring to you, you know, decades and years and years down the road. That's really the commitment I feel like you guys want, Virgo. You guys don't want something short term. I feel like you want something that's going to last the test of time. And you deserve that. And although you or your person or both of you guys could both have a lot of options, this for a lot of you, this is your twin flame. This is soulmate. This is high soulmate energy, you know, higher than just soulmate. This feels like twin flame. For me, this is twin flame energy when I see this card. This is the lovers. These are, you know, people that love each other on a very like cosmic level. This is highly spiritual, highly divine, but it does not always work out. And it, it can, and can, and it can be the most beautiful ceremony. It can be the most beautiful union, but that's when it works. If not, typically you're faced with really difficult lessons, you know, and you have to heal. But a lot of you awaken each other to your spiritual paths too. Usually one person is further along than the other. If you guys are watching tarot, then it tells me that most likely you guys have ascended. You guys are more on the ascension process. Or for some of you, maybe you're just beginning. Maybe your person led you to this process and this, you know, but I feel like a lot of you are, are ascended. You have ascended. Like you're going through ascension or you've already gone through it. Like you know what your twin flame is. A lot of you know who your twin flame is for those of you who have one. And it's been some dilemmas. You know, it's been some delays. Whew, it's been a lot because I just had to do a deep breath there. So it's been a lot of challenges. Okay, I'm with you guys. There's been a lot of difficult lessons that had to be learned. And there's a lot of things you didn't understand, but now they've come to light, especially through all these tarot and oracle readings. Some of you have gotten personal readings. Others of you are doing readings on yourselves. You guys are finding the clarity and the answers that you guys need and seek, especially when you have like a runner chaser type of situation, which that's the energy I'm getting. Like your person was probably the runner. Or you guys have switched roles at some point and you were the runner, they were the chaser, and now the, the roles have reversed or switched. But I feel like your person is mainly the runner. And a lot of you are not running anymore. You're not chasing after this person. It's like you're not going to, um, I don't want to hear, I don't want to say stoop down to that level, but it's like you don't want to chase this person anymore. Like you're surrendering to the divine. Like what will be, will be. A lot of you do want this to work out. You've dreamed this person. A lot of you feel like you've dreamed this person into life. You, a lot of you knew this person from like back in the day, from an old um, neighborhood, old job or something like that. But even from childhood, like maybe you guys grew up like in the same neighborhood or went to the same school or something like that. But regardless, it's, it's past life energy here. That's heavy. Okay. So a lot of you followed your heart. You want to be with this person is what I feel like. But you only want to be with this person if the situation is right. You don't want somebody to bring you more strife and conflict and burdens. You feel like you've already been through too much of that. I feel like there's some of you who's willing to wait and see if this person makes progress. For others of you, you're not going to. And I'm going to tell you this. Always do what you feel is best for you. But those of you who choose to wait, make sure this person is really making progress. Make sure that you have some kind of promise in order unless you just choose to wait. Of course, you guys have free will. You can use your own discernment, use your own intuition and do whatever you feel is best. But understand this. Your happiness has to be because that's something you chose for yourself. Not because it, it shouldn't depend on somebody else coming in or out. Because people on your path, on your journey, people will always enter and exit. That's part of life. People will come and go. Some people will stay, but it's rare that people stay for the long haul for the whole time. That's exceedingly rare. But it is possible, but it's exceedingly rare. So this person, I feel like, has been in and out and flighty. You want this person to finally make a choice and to choose you. For a lot of you, you've chosen this person. And others of you, you've let go. You're like, you're surrendering to God and what will be, will be. And I get that because a lot of people are just tired. Like with the twin, this could be super exhausting, especially trying to figure this person out, helping them heal. One minute they're all the way in and you feel happy and elated. The next minute they're all the way out. You don't know what's going on. You don't know where they are. You don't hear from them. They're not talking. They're not texting. They're gone ghosts. You can't find them. But it's like when you guys are together and things are good, they're so amazing. It doesn't feel like anything could go wrong. And then it does. OK, and then they say something that's odd or awkward or just, you know, even disrespectful or disappointing. And it's hurtful and it's hurtful on a whole nother level because your love is a whole nother level. Like you guys love each other on like a cosmic level, on a very, very high spiritual divine level. So this is a divine union. It is a divine connection. But, you know, when I look at this picture, you know, they're holding each other. But yet she has her arm open. You know, where's that arm? Is that hair I'm pointing to? When, oh, here's the arm on this side. So she has her arm open right here. So it's like, let me see if I can bring it closer and ever so closer. 
hopefully you guys can see it. But anyways, she has her arm open like somebody has other options and choices. Like if you're in 100%, your person needs to be in 100% or it's not going to work. It has to be, you know, dual. It has to be equal. It has to be the same. You guys have to have that equality. This conversation may have already been had. A lot of you are trying to keep hope alive, but I feel like a lot of you have to get past like your emotions and get to like what's real, like get past the fog, the smoke and mirrors and be like, you know what, are you good for me in the long haul, in the long run? Are you going to be there for the kids? Can I depend on you to get our bills paid and on time? You know, can we build a future? Can we build a house together? What are your core values? What do you value and prioritize? Because I feel like this person, one of you didn't know yourself like you know yourself now. I feel like you've grown a lot, but your person lacked in growth. And so you started like surpassing this person and passing them up in a lot of ways. And a lot of them may have told you like, wow, you know, you pray differently or you do something that's like everything that you do is very alluring to them. But it's on a, it's like a wild factor is what I'm hearing. Like it's, they're wild by you. You know, it's alarming in a way because it's like some of them feel like they can't reach you or they can't reach your level. And that's because they need to focus on their happiness and their path and their level so that you guys can come together. Cause I feel like you will come together. Somebody will eventually break the ice and reach out to whatever you feel is best. But I would say, do not stop living your best life. There's other fish in the sea. There's other soulmates. Of course, your twin is your highest but sometimes twins are not aligned, meaning one person is, is doing the work and the other person's not. So guess what? The other person is on full speed ahead while the other person is stuck at the stoplight. And that's because they choose not to, to pay attention to the light. So they only see red. They're not seeing it when it turns green because they're not focused on what they should be focused on, like their healing, their growth, their lessons. Okay. And this is something, you know what? This is something like you may have warned this person about. You may have told them that you need to heal. You need to go inside and get a new perspective about life. You need to focus on your careers. Like, you know, and a twin may have told you, like, they see you making progress in your life on the job in every aspect. They see your growth and development. And it's almost like they feel like they can't keep, um, they, some of them feel like they can't keep up. They can't catch up to you. And that's because they're not doing their own work. You know, they out here running the streets and running wild. Like, you know, I'm not going to say that, but I'm just like a wild child. I was gonna, I saw something else. I saw like a horse running. It was weird, like without a head or something. Oh, Lord, I did say it. But anyways, um, I wasn't going to say it, but that's what I saw. But it's like somebody running wild. You know, they don't know where to go. It's like they're running blind. Like they, they can't see, but they have the ability to take the blinders off. They have a, the ability to see, you know, it's like they choose to be stuck. They're choosing to be blind. They're choosing not to grow, but they want to just be where you are without the work. No, it doesn't work like that. They don't get the perks and the goodies and all the wonderful things that you are because you actually put in the work to get there. So they got to put in their work or you're going to be joined with somebody else. That's what I'm going to, that's what I'm going to get. And it's going to be very hurtful to this person when you're actually done, done. For some of you, I feel like you have walked away and are like completing this cycle and being done. It's like, I'll catch you in the, in some other life or I'll catch you on the other side because a lot of you are like, you've done the introspection. You guys have done the enlightenment work and you're not playing. A lot of you have this person on block. You're on full speed ahead. You know, you, some people will wait for this change. I'm getting, but a lot of you don't want to, a lot of you don't, a lot of you are ready to go. But you really wanted to work out with this person. They caused you so much stress and, oh man, conflict and anxiety. A lot of heartbreak was here. It's like you're tired of being heartbroken behind one person. And you realize, like, honestly, they're the problem. They're, they're, their biggest problem is themselves. They're holding themselves back. You know, a lot of people are afraid to grow. They're afraid to learn something different and elevate and know more. So, you know, keep this person in prayer. But live your best life. That's all I'm going to say. Do whatever you feel is best. All right. What's going on with you? You guys have the King of Pentacles, Virgo. See? Another loyal, dependable, trustworthy, beautiful offer is coming in. I feel like your person going to be jealous when they find this out. I don't know how they're going to find out. Maybe through social media if you start dating. Some of you already have started dating. And maybe you posted some pictures to your Instagram or your Facebook or you know, something like that Twitter account and they're finding out or they're hearing through the grapevine that some of you guys have moved on. I feel like some of you are moving on to somebody more stable. You want somebody who's great with money and finances, somebody who likes to build and share. Your person might have been real stingy is what I'm getting, especially with money. Like they always wanted gifts and presents and clothes and shoes and money. But like when it came time for them to give, 
they were looking at you, you know, sideways, like, why well, I got to give to you? So, you know, that's not good. You know, you didn't feel good about that. You didn't feel like that was fair. And it wasn't. It wasn't. And it was real immature, too. So a lot of you have moved on to give your cup of love to somebody else or somebody's offering their cup to you. But I see, like, this is an offer of money. Like, somebody's going to be great with money. They're going to help you build. They want a home. They want stability. This is somebody you could trust. They're dependable. They will under be understanding. You know, you're not playing. You're not playing. So you want somebody who's very ambitious, somebody who stands by their word. You know, no, no nonsense. Some of you have learned to become more protective over your money and your heart. Like, a lot of you are not given to that twin flame or, you know, that ex or, you know, your person. You're not given to that person anymore. So, you know, they see it. They feel it. And they also see you climbing the ladder of success. You're not playing. A lot of you are keeping your money in your pocket. But I feel like an offer is coming to you or you chose a different direction or like you're presenting somebody with an offer, like somebody who's going to give you the same in return, the same loyalty, the same love, the same respect. A person that's very hands on, like they get things done. This person could be really good at fixing up the house. They could be a mechanic. They could just be like a handy person. It doesn't matter if it's male or female, but um, this person is really good with their hands. They're very generous. Like this person loves to like spoil you and spend on you and kind of dote on you. I love this energy, but they're very protective over you too. It's like they make you feel important without feeling guilty for what you're receiving is what I'm getting. And that's what you want. You want somebody who protects you, who is powerful, but they respect you at the same time. You know what I mean? They're loyal. They're, they truly are a leader, you know, and they're really here for commitment. Same thing. They want the same thing as you do. You guys want that true love connection. I feel like this is what's coming in. For some of you, I feel like you're already in this energy. For a lot of you, this this twin flame or ex or somebody from the past, for a lot of them, it's too late. But, you know, it's up to you. But I see a beautiful offer here or coming in. For some of you, already have this. You're in it. I feel that strong. All right. Um, let's see what's coming in next. The change coming in, in next is the nine of wands. Defenses are up. Yeah, your defenses are up. Especially against anybody who played on your heartstrings before, anybody who played games, it could be an ex, a twin flame. You definitely, for some of you guys, have this person on block. You don't want to talk to this person. You don't want to hear from this person. You know, there's a select few who do just to see what this person has to say. But I feel like a lot of you, excuse me, you guys are here to find out information if like this person is coming back. I do feel like your person is coming back. More offers are coming in and you're going to have to decide between a twin flame connection and like either a new person or somebody you're already dating that you're happy with. Like things are going good so far. So, you know, your, your twin is probably going to be left out in the cold the way they left you and you're not doing it to get them back. I feel like you're doing it because you just moved on. You're not playing the games. Like you did some cord cutting and you know, you got bored of the lack of interest from this person. You got tired of the infidelity and cheating all the time. And this person staying in the same toxic cycles of lying and playing games and being on that low vibration. So you started to become more determined to be successful and to be happy by loving yourself and freeing up space and time for somebody else, something better to come in. So you guys started being creative, start planning for your future and talking to God and spirit about what you truly want and desire in your ideal, you know, spouse or partner. You started talking about marriage and wanting a serious commitment that, you know, you can take those vows under God and, and mean it, you know, and build with a family that wants to be there. You stop worrying about your fears. You stop worrying about like, you know, what you lost and started focusing on what you gained, especially when it, when it comes to like your lessons. Okay. Some of you will have to be protecting, you know, protect your money, but also your job. I don't know if somebody may be trying to compete with you. Or something like that. Hmm. You know. Just, you know, don't worry about your fears. Don't manifest those. That's what I'm hearing. Be very vigilant and observant. You know, observe people around you. Okay. Because you guys can make your own choices and decisions. A lot of you have great you know, decision-making skills, you guys use discernment, you guys like to weigh things out, you guys go within to your inner knowledge, your inner knowing, and you connect with your spiritual teams so that you can make, you know, positive decisions and come up with really good solutions to any type of problems. So, you know, picture things working out for you. Picture yourself happy, 
and excited about life and doing things that you want to do. But I do feel like your defenses are up and somebody's going to feel it. Like you may be telling somebody, uh, 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 stay back. So, or, uh, uh, you can't call me or don't come on my property or something like that. So this is interesting. But anyways, um, I feel like somebody has you feeling exhausted with them and somebody else or the idea of moving on to somebody else. It makes you feel more free and at peace. Hmm. Yeah, your defenses are up like your walls are up. You're not letting anybody into your life and into your heart space. You're careful with the information that you share now, Virgo. You guys are known to go within for your answers. And that's what you guys are doing. You're doing what you know and you're doing what you do best. You're contemplating about life. I do feel like a lot of you are open to love, but it has to be the right person, the right situation. People have to come correct. They have to act like an adult. They got to be grown, like grown, grown, for real. I love that energy, though. What's going to trigger this change of defense? Look at this King of Cups. Yeah, offers coming in. I mean, like Cups of Love is coming in. You know, two. you guys got two kings right here. So you're going to have some major options here, some darn good ones. I mean, trustworthy options, devoted options. This person is devoted, you know, and I think for a lot of you, this is what you were, you know, to certain people in your past. And so when they just took you for granted and didn't appreciate your love and all the support and time and energy that you gave, you had to pull it back. So a lot of you put that into yourselves. You put that into your kids. You put that into your own personal creative endeavors and interests. And now offers are coming in. And some really good ones. So you guys are going to have to make some decisions here about your future and about what you truly want. Because it's looking really good. I mean, it's looking really good. Like somebody's going to understand you. They're going to want your heart. I think, you know, I know you guys want what's fair. You want somebody who can empathize with you and somebody who's very mature is what I'm getting. And that's what I see coming in. So you may have to decide between somebody who's, you know, very financially well off. Or somebody who's like very emotional and loving. This person here with the King of Cups may hold back a little bit. That's what I'm getting. They're very sensitive. They may hold back and take their time. But some of you Virgos are going to love that because you won't feel rushed. They're only going to give their heart and tell you how they feel once they are confident enough to know that they're right and they're firm. So they don't want to play mind games with you. They want to keep it 100. They're very devoted to their family. They're loyal. Both offers are very loyal. They have a lot of honor here. So, you know, they're both very career focused. They're both like bosses. Okay. They hold a lot of integrity because they are kings. And, you know, whether you're male or female, these could be queens. So these are people on very high levels, high stature. So um, this person shows up. Okay. They feel very deeply for, you know, they're very connected to their emotions. So if they really are in love with you, you're going to know it. You're going to feel it and they're going to show it. And eventually they're going to tell you. Okay. The other person, you know, this King of Pentacles is just going to show you. They're going to spoil you. They want to take you around the world, give you lots of gifts. You know, they like to splurge on you, but they help you. Like if you need it alone, they're going to give it to you. If they got it, you're going to have it. Point blank, period. So both of them are ideal partners is what I'm getting. You're going to get a lot of loyalty, fairness, a lot of love here, especially from this King of Cups. This person could be really romantic, very sensitive. They will listen to you and your problems and just be very loving towards you. You know, this person is honorable. They both honor commitment. So you have some offers, some very high, beautiful, amazing offers coming in. Woo! But... You know, one of one of these people could be from the past is what I'm getting. It could be your person or an ex or a past love. Could be that twin flame or soulmate or soul tie, something like could even be a karmic soulmate. But one of these could be from the past. Maybe somebody waited too long, too, too long, because this king of cups could wait sometimes. Because they don't always like to explain their feelings. But once they do, once it's out there, it's out there. You know what I mean? They have to trust that they're right first, and then they go for it. But your defenses could be up to somebody who waited a little too long. Or, you know, even if they waited, they should have kept in contact. They should have texted you every week or called you according to what was comfortable and what you liked and preferred is what I'm getting. Like, they should have kept in contact. 
especially when it comes to communication. You need to know where somebody's head is at is what I'm getting. All right. Let's see what the advice is from Spirit. Oh, my gosh. You guys got the queen of the ocean. You guys got abundance. <laughs> well, I will say this. Somebody may want kids with you guys. Somebody could be pregnant right now because this is high fertility card because you guys would make ideal mothers and fathers. So you guys can flip it for those uh, masculines out there. This could also represent the emperor. But I do see... You know, this is somebody who loves marriage. This is somebody who has great ideas. I feel like this is you guys. Um, Virgo, this is you. You know, I feel like Spirit wants you to maintain your focus on your prosperity and your abundance and winning. You know, don't get lost in the sauce of another person and forget who you are. Stay brave, stay bright, stay focused on your own dollars, okay? But I feel like somebody definitely wants to come in and give you this loyal offer and work with you. I feel like I see money around you guys. So this is good. I see ideas turning into money. Like your ideas are going to take off. You guys just have to focus on them and use them to the best of your ability. You guys are very nurturing. Like you guys would be excellent parents. A lot of you already are. And um, your, your new person or even your old person, like somebody may tell you they want a baby with you. They want to have more kids. They want the family to add on. They may want a bunch of kids. So do what you feel is best. This is your body. You guys know what's right for you guys. So do whatever feels right according to you. But I do see uh, a lot of happiness here. This is like celebrations too. So there's a lot of growth here. So growth and fertility is here. Nurturing. You take care of home well. You take care of your kids. They always look good. They're fly. They're fresh. You guys take care of things like a boss. And there's a lot of love here. You guys have learned to truly master the art of loving yourself and you guys know how to love other people too which is good you make other people feel like very comforted you guys make home feel very um, warm and loving and inviting and you guys can be very generous with those you truly care about so you know it's time for you to continue to grow and evolve especially when in areas of money and love so just enjoy your life and make really good investments especially when it comes to like forward thinking and the future so a lot of you definitely are going to invest some time in like a relationship. So you're, you're ready to get serious. You're ready for a serious commitment. For those who are open to it, offers are coming. They look great. <laughs> right now they look really great. You know, definitely get to know people. And um, I feel like a lot of you are focused on spiritual practices as well. So some of you guys have been doing your own tarot card readings and stuff like that. And just working on new creative projects. And I feel like it's going to do well. Or you may be giving people ideas. And it's going to add on to what they're already starting and working on. And it's going to just prosper further for them. Like things are going to really flourish and take off. So you guys, you guys are awesome. You know, if you were bickering and fighting with people from the past, I feel like you're done with that. That's old news to you. That's like an old feud. You're done with it. You know who to block out now. And you know what you do want and what you want to let in your life and into your heart. So continue to be of service to God and others and do good deeds for the world. But definitely take care of your own wellness. And um, you guys are really shining. You guys are standing out. I think so far, you guys are the only reading I've done. You guys are the last one for the mid-month of July, year 2021. So you guys are the last one for my mid-month reading. And I think you guys are the only ones that had this card come out. I don't remember seeing this in any of the other readings. This is beautiful. You guys have abundance coming to you. So something in the matters of money, love, real friendships, many things could be abundant for you at this time because you have manifested this. By focusing on your own happiness. You know, this is good. This is really good. So your needs definitely will be taken care of. And that's something you will get done as well as be blessed by God and spirit. You're going to have that. So money's going to flow. If you guys had any financial setbacks, don't even worry about it. Like these are going to be great for you guys. I see a lot of spiritual growth here. So this is somebody who is close with God and spirit. A lot of you are mystics or um, you're starting your own channels. A lot of you will be making your own cards or Maybe you have a spiritual shop or something like that, or you're connected to like religious um, figures and people who are high, um, I feel like high spiritual realm is what I'm hearing. Okay. So you love kids. Kids love you. A lot of you may work with kids in some way, like at the hospital or some of you are teachers in a classroom, something like that. Or you work with kids somehow. You could work at like daycare or some type of center where children are around a lot, but you are a wonderful ideal person like somebody may see you this way too like you are the best 
option. You know, you're not an option, but you're like the best candidate. You're the best person to marry. You're the best person to take home. Like they can see happiness and abundance and growth with you. Somebody can see contentment and a very fulfilled and happy life with you. That's what I'm seeing. And you know your worth. Like you know you're beyond great. You're awesome. You guys are amazing. You know that. Okay. You guys know how to give love and be loved. And a lot of you love the world. You love being worldly and helping people in this world. You guys are true servants of God. And thank you for being that way, Virgo, because we definitely need that. So this is beautiful energy. So continue to focus on your abundance because more is coming in to, to you and for you. I see that. It's like you are a blessing to yourself and others. I love that energy for you. All right, let's see what's going on with family, friends, and people around you. You guys have Page of Wands creativity. Yeah, a lot of people around you are really getting focused on their own interests and hobbies, which is good. I think a lot of people may have lost sight of what truly makes them feel good and happy and up and uplifted inside. So they need to focus on their intuition, their passions, and truly be themselves. Inspire and definitely encourage your family, any you know of your friends, any coworkers to like be themselves. Because I think people are looking at you Virgo, and you are truly standing in the energy of power. You're standing in your power. You're standing in your energy, high energy, high power of loving yourself, of what it looks like when somebody actually loves themselves. So continue to do so. Continue to love yourself. You are radiating. You're shining. You're very motivated. And I think just your presence alone and how you make moves in this world is helping influence other people to like shine and focus on what they're good at and what they're great at and what they can do. Okay, this is good. So please tell people, hey, be yourself. Give them that advice that they are creative, they're unique, they're special, and they have wonderful things to offer to the world. They just have to do what they love and be passionate about it. You guys are remarkable. You guys truly are. I love this energy for you guys. I think you guys are more stronger than you've ever been. You're brave. You're very brave. And you know, like, your confidence is just illuminating. Like, I love that. You guys get the job done. You're doing it. You're doing the thing. I love this energy for you guys. It's spectacular. All right. The outcome, you guys have the two of swords crossroads. You know what? I saw this in your pre-shuffle, so I'm definitely not surprised to see it. Yeah. Especially here with two kings and the lovers coming out in this reading, you guys have some major decisions to make. Okay. Some of you will have to decide between two lovers, two people, a soulmate in a twin flame, two soulmates, something like that. And, you know, the prospects look good you know, overall. So you guys may have to decide between, you know, what's best for you and, you know, and you could love two people. You may be loving two people, but one person may not be good for your future and for your life. And you have to do what's best for you because a lot of you don't want to bank on somebody might change or maybe, or they could, you want what's solid, what's tangible, what's real, what you see, what you know to be true. That feels more stable and secure and that's what you want. You want a secure and stable offer. No gimmicks, no games, none of that. It's just too immature for you. You're not waiting around for that. You're not playing with that. And I don't blame you. But, um, yeah, some of you may be at a crossroads really soon. You could be there now. You're going to have to use your discernment like never before. You're going to have to talk to your spiritual team. Always go to God. And just know, like, you know, with this decision that has to be made, you know, there could be some indecision for a while and tension. But I feel like when you start weighing out between your peace and conflict, you're going to pick your peace. You're going to pick serenity and happiness, okay, your joy. You're going to go where you can be free but win and feel your power and not feel like you're less than equal. You need to feel equal and balanced and loved. You definitely want to feel loved. You don't want to feel blocked or that, you know, somebody is here sometimes. You need somebody who's here full time who makes the time, makes the effort, puts the energy in, just like you do, okay? You're not about the drama and the games. Not when it comes to your heart, not when it comes to your money, not when it comes to your livelihood, and certainly not when it comes to your children. You need somebody who appreciates you and not somebody who's jealous of you, okay? You need to feel celebrated, and you deserve that, Virgo. You definitely do. So you're going to have a lot of clues. It's going to lead to this decision, but once you go for it, you know, somebody you are going to probably have to let down, let them down gentle and easy, but be very clear. Okay, do it in a matter of respect, even if this person most likely disrespected you and betrayed you in the past. Um, this person hurt you, one of the people that you're going to be deciding against, most likely. 
and you know let them know it's not because you're trying to get them back for what they've done it's just because you've grown you've grown past what you've been through and you've grown up a lot especially within the past few years just what I'm hearing so you're better than you've ever been and they see you thriving they know it so you don't want to miss out on your breakthrough of great opportunities because somebody else is lacking or holding you back you know and it's not fair people who truly love you they should love you enough to let you go and let you grow you know not hold you back from like greatness that's not okay so you know you may feel blocked or stuck for a while but you're not gonna stay in this energy you're not okay some of you you're gonna have to just wait things out but I feel like once you make this decision you're gonna go for it wholeheartedly you're gonna come out of a stalemate and I think you'll be proud of your decision especially if you make it from truth and you talk to God in spirit about it, and I feel like you will, you're going to do what's right and what's best for you and your family. And that's the right thing to do. It's not always the easy thing, but it's the right thing. And you have to sleep at night. You have to live with your decisions. And you're at a place where you don't want any more regrets. You don't want to have to feel like, well, I knew better, but I didn't do the right thing. This time around, you want to, you want to be so level-headed and grounded to where you feel 100% great about the decision and choices that you make. And I feel like you're equipped with spiritual tools, your past experiences, a lot of challenges and difficult lessons. You know, you're motivated differently now. You're ambitious like never before and you're shining super bright, okay? Ultra bright. You're illuminating. So a lot of your inspiration and you guys are influencers for other people too. So you want to make sure you set good example, not just for your kids and yourself, but for others. Because you have followers too. Some of you have a following. So it's like you want to practice what you preach. You want to show that show people that, you know what, I really do live the way I'm saying. I really have learned from my past. OK, but know that it's up to you what you choose to do. Use your own discernment always. And this has been a really cool reading. I have enjoyed giving you guys this reading. So Virgo, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this mid month of July reading for your zodiac sign. This is a tarot reading, and um, I hope the messages in this reading resonate with all of you or as many of you as possible. I'm sending you all so much joy, love, and light, and beautiful energy. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you, and thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. Bye, Virgo.